Sariki, thanks very much for joining us post-match. Just how good of a performance was that tonight? It was a really good performance uh, from the whole team. Um, I really enjoyed myself out there and um, we got the three points. You mentioned there on a personal note they couldn't get near you tonight. Just how pleased were you with your own performance? No, I was pleased. Uh, I think obviously being out injured as well was very difficult for me. I missed uh, playing football a lot and um, I just wanted to have fun. Um, and talk us through the first goal if you can. It certainly looked like a well-struck effort. Yeah, so I, uh, I got the ball and um, came inside. There was a lot of space. So I just kind of knuckled it and I think that's why the keeper kind of spilled it as well because it, it was moving a little bit. Um, but yeah, I thought, uh, let, let me get us off the, the, the front foot. And you had so much success coming in from the left onto your right foot today. Is doing that and looking to excite the fans, you know, what your whole game is about? Yeah, uh, it always has been. It always will be, um, you know, we want to score goals. Uh, but I also want to, you know, enjoy the game for myself. Since young, you know, that's, that's how I would play it. And uh, I want to excite the fans as well and, and make them enjoy the game. Uh, for the second goal as well, you combined beautifully with Koji Miyoshi. Just how much did you enjoy the link-up with him tonight? Oh, it was brilliant. Um, before the game, we, we spoke about it. And um, him in that 10 role kind of, to be honest, we don't even speak much, um, but there's just an understanding there um, on, on a football level. So, yeah. Uh, it seemed like the only way they could stop you tonight was uh, by giving you a bit of a kicking. Uh, how are you feeling physically after that? I feel fine, which is, uh, which is good. Um, but that's always going to be the case, um, and I'm fine with that. As long as I don't get injured from it, I'm fine with that. And you mentioned briefly to come back from an injury and play the way you did today. How buzzing were you about that? No, I was, I was very, uh, very happy. Uh, you know, I think it's been a month that I've not played, or just over a month, and um, it's been a difficult time for me. But um, playing today was a very good feeling. Would you say that's the best overall performance you've seen from the team since you've been here? Possibly, possibly. Um, not only because we got the four goals, but we were very comfortable in the whole game. And um, we, we played very good. We played uh, good football, so yeah, I would say so. Does it go to show that you're very good with possession as well and you can play with more of the ball? Yeah, 100%. I think we've got a lot of ball players and um, we can actually play intricate football and uh, it showed tonight. It's obviously been difficult with the injuries recently, but did tonight prove that everybody in this squad can play? Yeah, everyone's important and um, there's some that uh, are injured just now. I was injured and um, you can see that there's a lot of good players in the team. So when someone's missing out, you know, someone else may fill in and um, yeah. After having a, a tough September as well, just how important was it that you came out here and played the way you did tonight? No, it was good. I think um, it's always the mindset. So sometimes if it doesn't pan out the way it, you know, it shows, um, people may think otherwise, but it's always the mindset from us to always play, go out and play. And today we've done just that. How good was it to see Emmanuel Iwu and Brandon Keller make their first championship appearances as well? Yeah, it was amazing for them as well. Because, um, you know, when you train every day, uh, you're in, you, you always want to get a taste of it. So it was good to see them come on and, and, you know, be a part of it as well. Of course, it's Derby Day against West Brom on Friday. How much are the lads looking forward to that one, especially after what they did tonight? Yeah, everyone's looking forward to it. Um, like I said, I've not played uh, in a Derby here before, but I'm looking forward to it um, just like every game. Finally, unfortunately, there were reports of a racist incident towards Juninho Bakuna towards the end of that game. Just how disappointing was that? It was disappointing. Um, when we came off the bench, he told me about it and um, I couldn't believe it because uh, not only it was from a fan, but it was from one of our own fans, which made it a little bit more disappointing. Um, I spoke with the gaffer and uh, I think we're going to get that sorted. Sariki, thank you very much for joining us. Cheers.